says, Sheikh, is it true that when someone dies, we should not cry because the dead soul will feel pain? People say if we cry, the dead person will feel that a mountain is kept on them. First of all, there is an authentic hadith which is narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with the man with his father. It's in, it's in the Sahih. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu was salam, that the deceased is tormented by his family's crying, weeping, or wailing, depending on how you translate the word bibuka'i ahlihi alayhi. And this is an issue that caused dispute among the scholars. So the hadith is authentic without any doubt. Narrated by Umar himself, may Allah be pleased with him, and his son, Abdullah ibn Umar, and Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, and a great number of scholars and, and companions, that is, who accepted it as it is. Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she said, no, they misheard the hadith. The Prophet said that the kafir, the disbeliever, is being tormented by the weeping of his family. Because Allah says in the Quran, no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. So what is his fault to be tormented for someone else's action? And the scholars brought a number of interpretations. They said, first of all, the hadith is crystal clear. There's no doubt about it. Secondly, the understanding of the hadith, they gave a number of interpretations. One, that the deceased himself, before dying, made a will and advised and ordered his family to wail and cry and shout and uh, tear their hair and, and, and dresses like the pre-Islamic era used to do. Another interpretation is that he knows that this is the custom of the women and the, and the, the people in his community, yet he did not tell them not to do that. He's, he was okay with it. He did not order them, but he was okay with it. And all of these are weak interpretations as stated by Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah be, uh, have mercy on him. And he said that the most authentic opinion is that tormenting a deceased is not punishment. What you have discomfort with is not necessarily a punishment. So such a torment is not a punishment for what they're doing. It is something that saddens you. And he gives a similar hadith where the Prophet said, والسلام, traveling is a piece of torment. Prevents a person from eating and drinking. So the Prophet described traveling والسلام, to be a piece of torment, though there's nobody punishing you for it. But this is the hardship that you will face. So a deceased faced face such a hardship if his family weep and to be specific, wail. See, crying is not a sin. Weeping is not a sin. And a deceased would not be tormented because of his family's weeping. The Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, wept when his child, when his only son, Ibrahim, died. So he said, the eyes weep and the heart is saddened and we do not say except what pleases Allah and by Allah we are uh, uh, saddened for departing you, O Ibrahim. Therefore, weeping is totally a human characteristic. It's only natural. What, it is, what is not is wailing when women start 
tearing their clothes and pulling their hair or slapping their faces and saying, oh, he was my husband, he was my father, he was my brother, he was my rock that I depended on, he was this, he was that. This is when the deceased would be tormented, and if he ordered that, he would be punished for it. And in, there are so many hadiths stating that there is an angel uh, uh, pinching the deceased, telling him, are you like what they're saying? Are you her, uh, her rock? Are you this? Are you that? So this is a form of it, and Allah Azza knows best. 